Yai Miko's weapon has been revealed on Genshin Impact's Twitter and both her banner as well as the weapon banner look absolutely amazing. Let's talk about her banner first. Obviously, Yai Miko is the featured five star there, but the four stars are very interesting. Fischl, who has not been seen in about six months, is finally seeing return on a rate up banner, which is very exciting, especially because, as you may have seen in one of my recent videos, Physical Fischl actually double dips off of... Uh, Yoon Jin's uh, attack buff so long as you have Constellation 1 for her. So, Fischl is a very exciting character. A lot of people have been waiting for her. She's an amazing support as well as a physical DPS. And every single constellation gives her massive spikes in power all the way down C1 through C6. Amazing character. Super great to pick up. Diona, probably the second best shielder in the game, only rivaled out by Zhongli, except for the fact that Diona has some added perks with her. She can heal with her elemental burst, as well as the fact that a C6, she can give a 200 elemental mastery buff to your party, which most certainly could be an extremely valuable to a team, for instance, with Yaimiku, who gets a little bit of a scaling off of elemental mastery as well as we see a return of toma who is another shielder as well kind of hilarious that they're putting two shielders in a uh, patch where the new enemies are all about anti-shielding but coincidence maybe i don't know but seeing fischl and diana on there are two very powerful very powerful uh, characters. So if you are interested in pulling for Yai Miko, these are great four stars to have alongside of your uh, teams, either for her or for other teams. Great options. Now let's talk about the weapon banner because this thing is juicy. All right, you've obviously got Yai Miko's Rada Up weapon, which we did a video earlier in the day about. Go ahead and check that out on my channel if you would so like to see which characters can or cannot work with her new weapon that is coming, as well as Jade Cutter, which is a very powerful stat stick sword all-purpose weapon almost every single sword user it is either their second best or best weapon to have so it is insanely good now the four star weapons actually have some amazing options as well eye perception and pain slasher are not the greatest although pain slasher could be valuable if you are for instance running beto in a taser team with the upcoming kokomi banner or child or even Barbara, if you're running main DPS Barbara, because, you know, maybe you're just cool like that. So pay to, uh, Pain Slasher is not that bad of an option there for that specific niche. Other than that, it's not great. However, the other three weapons, Stringless, amazing, amazing weapon for so many people. One of them being, coincidentally, Elemental Support Fischl. So this will be an extremely valuable pickup. Sacrificial Sword is insanely good for one of the most insanely broken uh, four-star supports in the game, Xing Cho, as well as valuable on many, many other characters. And Refinements are one of the most powerful things you can get for Sacrificial Sword. Uh, it's one that some people struggle to get. Now, also, we've got Wave Breaker's Fin, which is an insane weapon depending on what your team's comp is. But for instance, Raiden National Team with Xiangling, Wave Breaker's Fin, especially if you have refinements up to refinement five, can even beat out a staff of Homa. You heard that right. Uh, yeah, Xiangling can get insane value as well as Raiden Shogun, especially if you don't have Engulfing Lightning and you've already got the catch on one of the two of those characters, but you wanna run them together and you need another option, this weapon right here, Wave Breaker's Fin, is going to be exactly what you're looking for for either of those characters, as well as for many other uh, strong burst DPS uh, characters like Rosaria. So these weapons, uh, this, these both these banners are absolutely amazing. Very excited to see such powerful weapons coming in. I was already planning on getting Yaimiko and of course her weapon as well. Uh, but this just solidifies it even more, seeing such an amazing lineup of weapons uh, available to get. Hopefully we can get lucky. I would love to get an R5 Wavebreaker's Fin. 
Who knows if that will happen though? Well, it just all depends on the roles, but that would be insanely good. Um, I, it's even better than the catch uh, for Shangling. It is it is her best in slot weapon, um, comparable to a Staff of Homa. We are just one and a half, two days, one and a half days away from Yai Miko showing up. I'm so excited to pull for her. We have 92,000 Primo Gems saved up for her. We'll see how those rolls go, as well as I will be doing a massive giveaway on her release day as well as the day after and i do giveaways every single day normally over on my twitch link in the description over twitch.tv slash the no bear come hang out see how the wishes go see if yaimiko ends up being any good and win some primo gems along the way see you there thanks for watching like and subscribe